everybody welcome back to my channel it's Rachel and we are going to do a make unboxing today yes all these um because yeah it's gonna be a fun thing so I hope you guys are having a good holiday weekend um we have been putting mulch away in in our yard so yeah I woke up early and I'm gonna take this and hopefully get this edited up for you guys today this is Sunday so let's start this one has a lot of uh just randomness in it it's not really beauty heavy um and it's some one boxes i haven't had in a while so i figure i'll start from well let's just start and go through it here so the first thing i'm going to start with is probably the cheapest box which is our target beauty boxes um they've finally gotten good again and uh I've been buying a lot of stuff on Target.com because of the quarantine and the fact that I've been trying to stay out of stores as best as I can. And so <clears throat> occasionally when I go on to order things from Target, because we buy a lot of stuff at Target, I just love Target, <laughs> um, I see the beauty boxes and I get them. So one of these is last month's beauty box. One of them is this month's beauty box. I believe this is last month's beauty box. Um, and again, a lot of these I've peeked at. So... I've already opened to kind of rummage through all this. So Target Beauty Boxes are not a monthly subscription where you have a subscription and they send it to you regardless of it. It's one that you have to actually go online and purchase and uh, a lot of times they'll sell out. Uh, and, and some months they have one, some months they have more. So it's just one of those things that if you ever get a chance, just go to Target.com and look up Beauty Boxes and you'll find it. So they always send a little card, this theme for April, which I don't think this box is still available in May, um, is spring into clean. They always give you a little card here, which I'm definitely gonna put this aside since I'm doing a lot of shopping online so that I can get $3 off my next beauty purchase. And this is what they look like. They are a pretty no fuss uh, box, but they're $7, so it's really inexpensive. So the first item in here is an Acure Resurfacing Glycolic overnight glycolic treatment that is just it looks like a single one maybe two out of here but that's not bad this is a brand that um <clears throat> is not bad you can buy it pretty inexpensively so i am curious to try this out and see how it works my skin has been so angry at me this week um between putting bug spray and sunscreen and mask it's, it's just not happy all right, next item here is the brand The Good Stuff, and this is a no rinse conditioner and complete balm repair. So usually I like stuff like this for travel. Obviously we're not doing a lot of travel recently, so I'm just gonna use up my little travel shampoo and conditioners instead. So this is interesting and I am really excited to try this. This is supposed to be 100% paraben free and vegan. I've gotten some lotion from them, but I haven't really tried a lot of their stuff. Now look at this. This is a freaking full size by Shea Moisture. I like this brand. This is the Skin Rescue Cream Cleanser. This is the Hemp Seed Oil and Witch Hazel with Vitamin E. Now I did a video on CBD and it says this does not contain CBD oil or THC. And I talk about hemp oil in that and I'll try to remember to put that video up here. But cannabis oil has really good uh, properties in it. It's very rich in uh, omega fatty acids, which are really, really good for your skin. Um, witch hazel is a very gentle cleanser, and vitamin E is very good for healing of skin, especially scars. So this seems like a really cool item to get. And um, yeah, so this is a, it says cream cleanser, hydrates for a healthy skin. Yeah up with rescue moisturizer so definitely try this out i like cream cleansers that are very gentle and moisturizing so i'm going to definitely try this out but this looks like it's for the whole body it's a freaking full size all right next item here is the scalp soothing tea tree and mint crafted with shea butter and essential oil spring and vine shampoo bar i've always wanted to try out a shampoo bar so that kind of goes with the um the conditioner now a shampoo bar should theoretically last a freaking long time can't really smell what it is, but that's what the shampoo bar looks like. I'll definitely give this a try at some point. People swear by shampoo bars, 
So this is a uh, vegan and cruelty free, no synthetic fragrances made with essential oils. And it's supposed to be sustainable beauty because you're not having a big plastic bottle and it's a concentrated formula. So it's supposed to last as long as a full bottle of shampoo. So that's really cool. And then the final item here is the Pacifica brand Glowing Glycolic Acid Orange and Vanilla Makeup Remover Wipes. Now I don't use makeup remover wipes on my face, but when I do these videos and I play with makeup, I use it a lot to clean off like swatches on my arms and stuff. So I'm very happy to get this. This appears to be pretty much a full size, or maybe half size. It's 10 moisturizing wipes. So that is a freaking amazing box for seven bucks, this was totally worth it. So definitely Target has gotten their game back with their beauty boxes. So this is this month's beauty box and I bought this about maybe a week ago. So this should still theoretically be available. And this is the summer hair and skincare. Again, you have got your $3 off coupon and then you've got your information here. So mine, unfortunately, when I opened it, it looked like it leaked a little bit. They do try to really do a good job to make sure these don't um, leak. However, I'm pretty sure I know which item leaked and I'll show you guys here in a second. So the first one here is the Colab Dry Shampoo Original. Um, and you guys know I like dry shampoo when I'm not washing my hair a ton for work with decontamination. When I'm home for a long period of time, I like dry, sh dry shampoo. So this is the product here. And um, this is supposed to be a vegan friendly, cruelty free uh, dry shampoo. So let's smell it. it. Smells like dry shampoo. Anyway, this is what this is. So these usually last me a while, even in these little bottles. Okay, next thing here, I've had this before. Oh, this is definitely what leaked. I can see it leaked right here. So they put these little things on here. Unfortunately, it leaked around the bottom here, but that's okay. So this was the Not Mother's not your mother's beach babe, soft wave sea salt spray in tropical banana. Oh yeah. It smells like, um, this does not smell like banana. It smells like coconut. <laughs> uh, sea salt spray. I, I keep trying to make it work with my hair. It's supposed to bring out kind of like that natural rough kind of like frizzy curl, not frizzy curl, but like give you just this like Fresh off the beach look, my hair just never quite looks right with it. But I will give this a try. I have some other sea salt spray that I haven't had the best of luck with. Um, but yeah, we'll see this. It says, for extra volume, I use this uh, on dry hair or style on the go. So we'll try that out and see how I like it. All right, next item is a Argan Oil from Rocco or Hask. This is a repairing deep conditioner. Now, I do like this brand. I like their dry shampoos. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I'm not a big fan of packets like this because this has a ton of product in it. And for me, this will probably take two or three uh, uses to get through it. So I feel like these are a little hard to use, but that's okay. A lot of companies tend to like to use these. This is not gonna be very expensive. This is only, this is 1.7 fluid ounces, but still a nice product. All right, Biore Free Your Pores a Charcoal Pore Strips. There is that, so there is one nose strip. So this is a single nose strip. Not very much in here, but that's okay. All right, so we'll try this out and see. Um, it's supposed to unclip pores and draw excess stuff. This feels very early 90s to me. I don't know, I feel like this is something we would do in the 90s. All right, we've got a teeny tiny little thing here and unfortunately got gooed by that one thing that leaked. This is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. This is 0.17 fluid ounce. This will basically be an application. It's about that full. Um, I do like CeraVe as a company. Oh, it says SPF 50. The writing is so small in there, I could not even read that. And I have good eyesight, wow. No, it really does say SPF. No, I am not kidding, guys. It says SPF 30 on here, but it says SPF 50 on here. All right, so I don't know which one is actually correct. I'll have to go and do some research and see. But anyway, it's supposed to be a moisturizing sunscreen, basically. So I'll try it out. This is like one application. Next item here is a Heritage Store Rose Petal Rose Water. I do like uh, hydrating skin mists. I yet tend to use them after I shower before I put on my lotions. So I always like getting these. These take me a while to work through though. I have quite a few of them. Mm. 
It smells like rose water, but not overwhelmingly. So that's nice. That's a nice sample there. This uh, is supposed to, it says it's a cold classic. Have you guys heard of this brand? I've never heard of this brand. Anyway, it's a facial mist to calm redness, soften skin, and set makeup. I tend to not use these to set makeup, but maybe I'll try that in that capacity. And then this one I have, I've had this product. I've gotten samples of this. I've used up my samples. I have a full size one. This is a great product. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. Um, by Eve NYC. I do like this product and it's not very expensive for a full size. It's like seven dollars So um, this one is nice. So anyway, this is not a bad box The other one was definitely way better for seven dollars, but you've got three sprays. You've got a dry shampoo You've got itty bit of a little suntan lotion type thing. You've got a Biore pore strip and then a uh, Conditioner hair thing that'll get me about three uses. So this was definitely worth seven dollars But it was not as exciting as the first one. So the thing about Target boxes is they're definitely heavy on, um, yeah, they're heavy on things that are hair and skin. They're not really makeup heavy. All right, next box here is the Allure Beauty box. This is, I believe, $15. Um, and they always bring you a little card. I'll try to just kind of quickly go over some of this stuff in here and we'll see what we think. So. Ironically, we have got a, a cure sample, just like the Target, so this kind of cracks me up. This is the Resurfacing Glycolic and Unicorn Root Cleanser. So this is supposed to resurface, hydrate, and all skin types. So definitely try this out. I like glycolic cleansers for my skin. Let me see, they always give like little coupon codes and stuff in here, so I'll see if I can tell you guys any of these little things in here. So normally a full size of these is $12.99, um, which looks like it's about four fluid ounces. This is 0.67 fluid ounces. And if you use the code Allure25 on a, a cure.com, you can get 25% off your order. So anyway, that is that. Um, next thing here is the AH, AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for Face. Concentrated eye cream for the whole face. That's an interesting concept. Usually you don't want to um, use your eye cream on your face and vice versa. Although I guess in theory, there's no reason you couldn't. That is what it looks like. So definitely a full size product. This is a Korean brand that I have not had much experience with and it's $28.99. There is no coupon code. They said you can buy this at target.com. Um, and so, Let's see. <clears throat> so it says it's concentrated, creamy, and gentle as a traditional eye cream, but intention to use a moisturizer anywhere on your face. So it becomes, uh, basically they picked it because it is one of their pre-concealer favorites because it settles invisibly in defined lines around the eyes and mouth so that the makeup doesn't. So people are saying this is a real good travel essential. Again, not doing a lot of traveling, but definitely want to try this out. And... It is actually sealed, so I'm gonna leave that sealed for now. All right, that is nice, that's a full size item. Next item here is the Skin Ink, my daily dose of glow. So that's what the box looks like. This is a full size and it is $65, holy mo, oh, that's so pretty. Okay guys, look at that. I don't know if these little beads are really necessary, but they're really fun. Um, okay, so this product is $65. If you use the code Allure20 at iloveskininc.com, you can get 20% off your order. Um, and so these are dotted with colorful encapsulated molecules of moisturizer, hyaluronic acid, and illuminating vitamin A, and clarifying chlorella. I don't know what chlorella is. I'll have to look that up and get back with you guys. Um, so you're supposed to use this to basically put under your makeup and uh, make your skin all hydrated. That is really, really interesting. Let me smell this. It is in the dropper system, which isn't my favorite. Doesn't have a smell. Wow, that is very interesting. It's really pretty. If nothing else, just putting this on your counter, it's just a really pretty bottle. So, wow, that's nice. So, definitely made this box worth it. So, VDL is a Korean brand. I've gotten them before. Um, some stuff I really like, some stuff I don't. So this is the BDL Lumi Layer, um, Lumi Layer Primer. 
So there we go. Let's see what we got here. So this is the thing here. So it's a little amount. It's only 0.16 fluid ounces. So this bottle is like half full. I mean, in fact, they didn't need a bottle this big for this. Yeah. <laughs> they could have done a bottle about that big. That's a little frustrating. But anyway, normally full size is $32 for one fluid ounce. So this is 0.16. So this is like 1 16th of that. And normally it's $32. You can buy it at Ulta.com. There is no coupon code for this. So let's just try a little bit on my hand. It is, doesn't have a smell. It's just a clear or a white uh, primer. Ooh. Ooh, it has like a... Um, luminosity to it. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, but definitely it gives you kind of that dewy, luminous skin if you like that look. So for someone like me, I tend to go for that type of look. Again, no smell, but that is nice if you like a luminous look. So definitely it does what it says, that luma layer. All right, next item here is Curology. This says it's the way more than moisturizing uh, smooth sailing moisturizer. Now, I got an email in the in, in my box like a day ago saying this or may or may not be the actual uh, luminizing the moisturizer. It may be the the soap because they accidentally miss missed it. So It'll be interesting. I'm gonna open this up and check this out. Normally I wouldn't if it's sealed, but let's try it out. Apparently they're gonna send an extra item to make up for it. Um, but they said if it mixes with water, it is probably the soap. So let's see. So this is definitely a gel-like consistency. And I'm gonna just take a little bit of water and see. I don't know. This may be... I think I may have gotten the soap in mind. Mine's a more gel-like consistency and it definitely is feeling stickier than I would expect with a moisturizer. So I think I may have gotten the cleanser by accident. If you guys get this box and you didn't notice that email, definitely check this. Like I said, the company apparently misput in the cleanser into the lotion. Um, so I'm going to set this aside and play with it a little bit more with water and see if it actually is the cleanser. But I think based on that consistency and kind of how it was reacting with a little bit of my spit, which I know is kind of gross, that that probably is not the moisturizer. All right, final item here is the Biocellulose Sheet Mask by Win Glamour Base. And I've not been huge into sheet masks recently, but they're not a horrible thing to get. So this is $7.00. And you can buy at winbeautyus.com at Allure20. Gives you uh, money off on it. So anyway, that is the Allure Beauty Box. Except for that one mishap with the Curology, which I do glad that they told us. It's not a bad box. I think it's worth the $15. So anyway. All right. Let's move on to my paper box. Uh, this is my one item in this unboxing that I get as a, um, how do you say it? I don't pay for it. It's sent to me as PR. That's the term. Anyway, so I have a couple. I have last month's and then I just got June's box, even though we're not even out of May. So I'm going to unbox all of them. So there are two types of my paper box. Uh, this is a stationary subscription box. They have the lesser expensive one, which I think is around 10 10 or $15. I need to go look it up and see specifically. That is their little subscription for um, their... They're like little, uh, I am blanking, sorry guys, it is early in the morning for me. Like little stationary pads that have your name on it. So it comes in a cute little box like this or a little bag and they give you three stationary pads that are customized on a theme. So this is last month's. This one usually comes around the middle of the month. So like you could still, I can't remember if you can still get May's month. I don't think you can. I think it's just a little bit too late, but if you order now, I think you can get June's. Anyway, so this is the mini May box, and this is the nice to see you. The May's theme is the nice summer weather is creeping in, and they always put a little box about the theme, so it looks like little bees, unbelievably beautiful, super cute. This is a hand-done box. 
uh, from a little local company. So I live in Texas. This is out of Austin. So I love the fact that I'm supporting something local or that it's a local company, but that's really cute. So this is little bees on here and um, little flowers. So that's one little pad here. And then uh, it's customized to however you want. So I just have them put Rachel on here. This one says beautiful with a little bee up there, super cute there. And then this one here is uh, a little bees and flowers on just a regular pad. Sometimes the pads have things like, uh, like to-do lists and things like this. This month they are just straight up notepads. I go through this kind of stuff pretty quickly. Um, it's just, I just like this kind of stuff. So let's go through May's box here. And all right, so this, and the thing that's cool about these is they always give you like a little calendar of like all the different events for the month and their theme. So this theme for May is Be the Sunshine. And uh, they focused on like Mother's Day. May is a big month for me. My anniversary, Mother's Day, and my birthday are all this month. But they talk about all the different days and kind of things you can do with them, which is really fun. This one has like a little uh, mint lemonade recipe in here. Um, and yeah, it's just fun. Like I, this book's really fun to go through. And so then when you look inside, they have this little thing here. They always do such a good job. It says, add some color to your life. Okay. So, this is some of the customized stuff in here. And I believe this box is in the $20 range. I'll, again, I'll have to look it up. Try to put a link down below and try to see if I can remember to find my code for you guys to get a discount on this. So this is the house cleaning. This is very apropos. My housekeeper has not been coming. Apparently, people are scared of me since I work in healthcare. But anyway, so this gives you like your little things to do. Actually, this would be really good for the kids. Um, or my daughter because she likes to clean and so I can give her little things to do But it's just a little checklist of housekeeping for the week, which is kind of fun Whole idea is like spring cleaning They always throw in just a little mini calendar here. So you have one on this side and this has all the dates All right, and then there's a lot of little different stationary things So like this one here is a little sticker that has my name and ice cream on it Usually a lot of these stickers I give to my daughter. She has a really good time with them um, these look like little just cards that have my name on it. So you can throw these in like different, uh, like if you want to write a little note and leave it behind for somebody, they're just super cute. Here we have um, little stickers that just have my name on it. So you can put these in like little, like anywhere you want to put a sticker with your name on it. So like inside a card or something like that. And again, we have more of these stickers with your name on it. Some months, these boxes really hit it off for me. Some months, a little bit less, but they're cute. So there's a little button if you want your name on it. It is my birthday this month. So if, if I could have remembered, I should have worn this on my birthday, but that's cute. All right, sticky notes. Actually, these I will use. So stick it with me, mini sticky notes. So we go through these like crazy. My daughter likes to mark different books. Oh, these are cute. I'm definitely gonna let my daughter play with these. So these have little sticky notes. There's a little avocado and things like this. I like to use these to mark pages of books. So I uh, definitely, definitely will use these. These are 10 designs, 20 sheets per design. And then let's see what else we have here. So we always have little cards and I have used these um, for giving out different gift cards and Mother's Day gifts. So every month they usually put in a couple cards and they're fun to have. So this is the, you are the only one I answer the phone for. And then inside, sometimes they're signed. This one is blank. Um, and then this one is a thank you card, which is also really sweet. So here, and again, it is blank, which I appreciate. Um, there is another button here that says Be the Sunshine. I'll probably give that to my daughter. And then we have these little Get It Done pads. This is a sticker that is get it done. And then this is a little checklist notepad that says get it done. This one has a lot in it this month. And then add some color to your life. It's a little black notepad and fun little neon pencils. So that's really cool. So fun little box, definitely some interesting stuff in it. I enjoy this box a lot. It's very different than a lot of my other subscription box. Um, whether it's worth the price is really up to the individual person. Some months these boxes are so spot on for me and, and some months they're not as much, but I really do appreciate that they're handmade and they're really cute. 
So that one is super fun. So let's get into June's box, which I haven't even opened. And I believe you can still order this one. So if you like it, it should still be available to order. Let me, I don't have my scissors in here. So I'm using a pen to open this. All right, let's see what this one is. And this is Hello Sun Shine. Yes, it has been sunny and hot here. We're now in the 80s and 90s. I think we're supposed to have our, one of our hottest days coming up. And there's mosquitoes everywhere. I just killed a mosquito on my leg. It's been kind of hot and humid and gross. All right. This is what the little card says. Hello, sunshine. And it says, um, oh, you can don't forget to download a matching calendar for your phone. I'm going to have to do that one time. So here they have all the different dates and things that are going on. There's a Hug Your Cat Day, a National Donut Day, Leave the Office Early Day, um, Word Juggling Day, uh, Red Rose Day, Sewing Machine Day, and then don't forget there's also Father, Father's Day and Bourbon Day. So they have all of them in here, all these fun obscure holidays. Um, oh, and then it says, you asked for it. our mystery box is here, mystery papery box. Visit our site for more info. I'll have to check that out and see what that's about. That's really cool. All right, guys, so we've got fun little stickers. These are super cute. Like I said, a lot of these I give to my daughter, usually the ones with my name I keep, but she really enjoys these. She makes cards for my parents and stuff, but this is like, hello, sunshine. Um, then there's one that has my name on it. Here's another one. These are very tropical themed. Very apropos for summer. It kind of makes me want to go to Hawaii or somewhere tropical, which unfortunately I can't do right now. So it makes me a little sad that I can't go anywhere. We have our little card with our little tropical theme here. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside here. Fearless and Goal Getter. So there's a little stationary sticky pad. These, like I said, we use a lot of these. Oh, these are not sticky pads. This is just a regular old little pad. So there's that. There's like a little lined pad here so that you can do just like little little stuff here. And then a bigger lined notepad with my name on it. Very fun, tropical themed. All right, we've got some cards. They, like I said, do cards in almost every single one. So I like to open it up just to look to see if they say anything inside. So this is, says, this is a call for celebration. This one is signed. And so this says, this day was just made for you, Rachel. And then we have another card here. This is Happy Day of the Father. So this one I will probably use for my dad. Without me, this day would just be another day. That's funny. Uh, you're welcome. And this one I'm definitely gonna have to use for my dad. And this one is Hip Hip Hooray. So this one has nothing in it. This is just a plain card. So yeah, definitely gonna use some of those cards on Father's Day. Uh, I have several guys in my life that I need to make sure I get cards, so don't forget to do that. Um, all right, and then the final card here is Good Vibes. That reminds me of L.A. Um, here, and it says, Sending Good Vibes Your Way, Rachel. So that one's really pretty. If you guys don't know, I grew up in California, so anything with palm trees and that just reminds me of home. And this one is, there are a lot of, there are like a lot of hugs in here. Send with hugs, and then it has my name. Okay, so that's really, really cute. All right, so we've got another button. This seems to be a new theme. They've been doing buttons a lot, um, but this is cute. This says, Fearless Goal Getter. Like I said, these are kind of fun. Ooh, I see something very interesting in here. So I'm gonna have to send this. This is totally going to my daughter. This is just kind of one of those silly things, but my daughter will quite enjoy this. Um, I think this box is really good if you have small children because there's just a lot of things that um, I like to give to my daughter and she absolutely loves. But this is something I probably would never use, but like I said, I'm gonna totally give to my daughter and she'll love it. It's a little uh, dolphin keychain um, and it's neon. So like if this were maybe metal, I might use it, but as a neon one, probably not gonna use it. All right, we have, it looks like a, a tray here. Gold digger. So this is a little tray. So you can put things like little paper clips or jewelry in here. I actually really like these kind of bowls for jewelry and stuff. Um, but yeah, this one's probably more for paper clips. This is really cute. Probably not my style for most of my household stuff, but 
I will probably give this ooh, maybe to my daughter. I think she would definitely use it for her earrings and stuff. That is really cute. And then the final item here is something that definitely is really cute. These are like a little holder for cards or stationary stuff. This is actually nice. I'll probably put this on my desk area so I can put up little notes. So what you're supposed to do is you can put like notes or uh, little things in here to remind people. So this was a definitely a fun box. It was definitely different than the others with that little trumpet card. So I enjoyed that and I enjoy the fact that there's some really cute Father's Day cards in that. Um, so this one, like I said, is in the 20, I think it's like $25 range. So I thought this one was pretty good for the money this month. All right, guys, let's move on to my last two boxes, which are my Ipsy's. Um, usually I do Ipsy separately, and I didn't do it separately this month because I did put my Ipsy Ultimate on hold. I have been trying to be a little bit better about spending money this month um, just because of everything going on. Um, I, my husband and I did take a pretty significant pay cut with the pandemic, um, even though we're doctors and working in emergency rooms. So I was trying to be better about spending money, and so... I took and did not spend $50 on the ultimate one, but I did get the original, which is the uh, 50, yeah, $15 a month uh, Ipsy, or is it 12? It's $12 a month. Ipsy Glam Bag uh, regular, and then I did got the uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So this is what it looks like, very summery with this uh, faded ombre look. And let's see if they have a card here. Yeah, it says, get that glow May 2020. And unfortunately, they don't have any information inside. I don't know why Ipsy does this every once in a while, but they forget to put the information inside. And if I'd realized this, I would have brought my phone in so I could go over the information. But I don't have it here today, so oh well. So it does give you some reminders that the save the date for the choose a product was on the 21st. Obviously, we're past that today. Um, and then it talks about adding on some uh, samples and stuff of other sizes. All right, so let's dive in and see what we have gotten this month. So the first item here is the Pixie Face Blush and Beach Rose. I'm not gonna open this because I think I may actually have this color and I'm gonna look through my Pixie blushes. I have a couple from them and see, and if I do, I'll put this in a giveaway. Just a reminder of that last giveaway I did, oh God, it seems like ages ago for my thousand subscribers. I have the stuff and the boxes Finally, and we're up away from lockdown enough that <clears throat> I'm gonna mail those out. I've already contacted at least one of the, the people that won to let them know that I was gonna send it off. I need to contact the other one. But you guys, you are gonna get the packages. They're gonna get it mailed off this week. Uh, finally, I wanted to get the boxes and to pack them up at home and print out the shipping labels at home because I am trying my best to avoid going to places in person um, still. So anyway. This one I'm probably going to give away to my cousin because I'm not a big fan of this, but she absolutely loves this. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I just don't find it works that well on my eyelashes. It gets a little clumpy, but it has a very thin wand, if you can see on there. And this is the sample here. So, eh. All right, this item is the one I picked. This is the Tarte H2O gloss in the color, I forget what color it picked it out as. Oh, this is Hang 10. Now, I like this gloss. I have this gloss, but it is very thick. I'm just gonna hold a little bit on. It always smells so good. So this gloss is um, really thick. If you don't like thick gloss, you may not like this. It's not super sticky, but it is definitely thick. That is the color, but yeah. I have a bunch of the full size of this gloss and a couple samples. I do really enjoy this lip gloss. All right, next item here is the Moroccan Magic Argon Oil Essential Lip Balm. So let's see what this one smells like. It doesn't really have much of a smell. It's just a lip balm like that. So if you guys can see, I like lip balms. I, I cannot complain. I use these a lot. Um, and it's supposed to be Manuka honey is what it's supposed to be. All right, and then the final item here is Ciate London's Fierce Flicks. This is probably black because they can't give us another color but black. And I'm not gonna open this just yet. But anyway, it is a liquid eyeliner, at least in a good brand. Um, I know a lot of people like this particular eyeliner and I don't. it doesn't say what color it is, but I'm almost positive it's probably black because it doesn't say what color it is so anyway not the best box for me this month i've got a black eyeliner i probably won't use 
I've got a um, mascara that I'm not going to really use, and then potentially a blush that I already have. So pretty much two items out of it. This was a bit of a dud for me, but that's okay. All right, and final box. Let's get into the coup de grace. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is their $25 a month subscription. And this is the card, which again, we do not have prices or anything, so it kind of makes it feel a little bit. I feel like they just literally made the same card for all their boxes. Unfortunately, I don't have the ultimate to compare it to, but that box says nothing. This is their bag. It's kind of eh. The bag honestly was a little bit nicer for the regular box, uh, for the the twelve dollar box. This one seems just kind of a little annoying and not very nice. So I don't know. This is these are the difference. As you can see, they're kind of the same in my book. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing is the one item that I picked. This I think is in the twenty dollar range. This is the Wonder Beauty. Um, I think this is the clear eyebrow gel. I did want to try this. I like clear brow gels. I do like that wand. Now, if they could make this in a color that I could use besides clear, that would be amazing. So anyway, I got this because I thought this would be fun to try. I like clear brow gel because it just kind of keeps your brows looking nice and clean without causing them to go crazy. As a redhead, I have a hard time finding brow gels or anything in my color, so I tend to stick with clear. So that I will definitely use. All right, this is the Colored Rain Mimosa Moment Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I do like Colored Rain, but if I remember correctly, and I'll have to look this up, this may have been made by Ipsy with the Colored Rain name. Yes, specially made by Ipsy for Colored Rain. So this probably will not be the same as the normal Color Rain formula. I love Color Rain products, and um, I have some other palettes. Like I have this one, which is the Queen of Hearts palette. It is phenomenal. I love this palette. However, this is not made in the same place. So Colored Rain is usually made in the US, yes. But for whatever reason, Colored Rain allows Ipsy to make it with under their name. Now it's very clearly marked, but it's kind of shady that they do that. Um, and I don't know if the quality is the same. This is the color and everything. So let's just feel. That's not bad, actually. That's one of the colors there. Let me do another one of the ones here. So yeah, they're not bad. I'll have to compare them to their normal formula made by Colored Rain. Um, but yeah, that is that. The packaging is definitely cheaper. Um, colored Rain is also a company you can get some of their palettes at Target which I do like that they're uh, affordable. So apparently this is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free. I don't even think, let me see if this formula is even remotely the same. No, it looks like um, the formulas are very different. This has one formula on it, and it differs from this, which has two different formulas depending on a metallic and matte, and they definitely have some slightly different um, formulas like this one has mica pretty high up there so these are not going to be the same formula just FYI if you go all excited to try colored rain this is not really true colored rain that's a little disappointing all right this is mud masky this is the after mask vitamin serum pH balanced what is this it's something anyway this is what it is I have gotten this brand and it's very expensive. Okay, so it says you wash your hands and face, apply a thin layer to your face, and leave on during day or night. So it's a it's a, it's a face mask basically, like a leave on face mask. That's what this is. This has one fluid ounce in this entire thing. So this thing is not very full <laughs> for this huge old bottle. But I remember the price for this being ridiculously high. So anyway, that is what this is. Not too excited about that, but that's okay. This is made in the Netherlands, and it is supposed to be cruelty-free, and that's it. Okay. All right, next thing here is the Tardis Lip Paint in Home Slice. Now, I am not a big fan of the lip paints, not because they're bad, but because they are very drying on my lips. Um, but this color might actually work. I had to give away my other lip paints because they were not the right color for me. I'm not going to swatch it just yet. I'm going to debate on whether I keep this or not, but that is a very pretty color. And I do like the Tarte lip paints. They all smell really good. They are vegan and cruelty-free. 
So that is a pretty good item. This I think I, is in a, either in the $20 or $30 range. And then the final item here is the Galactic Skin Glow Duo. And I've wanted to try something like this. This is a cream-based product. This is, it looks like the lighter one. I think there was a lighter and a darker one, but this definitely looks lighter. So it looks like a bronzer. Yeah, oh, it's like a highlighter. But really it's like a light, you can see here, it's kind of like that goldy light highlighter. And then a blush, oh, that's really pretty. Kind of like a peachy light pink blush. I like that these are cream products. They're something that I will definitely use when I start wearing makeup again. So this is nice. I'm sure this is in the 30 some odd dollar range. Fortunately, I don't have the price to tell you guys. So this was an okay box. Bag was a dud. I do like these two products. Um, I don't know yet about this, but the color was nice. This I'll try, but I, you know, like I'm disappointed in the principle of the matter, but it is a pretty eyeshadow palette. And then I will try this out as well. So I think my money was worth it there, but it was definitely not the most exciting box. Um, I will have to say, I think a lot of companies are struggling this month with the quarantine and trying to source products and a lot of things are down. So I suspect that this, some of these issues are related to that. So if I take that in mind, they weren't horrible. Definitely not up to par with what I was expecting. So anyway, guys, that is it. This is a very long video. Um, just a uh, heads up, I will like at some point edit that video where I tried on April's stuff, hopefully before the end of May and um, I will probably try to do some sort of try on on May stuff and get that up in a week or so. Also, it is the Cosbach Marketplace is open yesterday. I haven't had a chance to look, but I think it goes on for a week. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And if I have time today or tomorrow, I'm gonna try to film up and edit a video for that. And then probably kind of midweek, uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll come back and do an update video on coronavirus stuff for you guys. Uh, that'll be a live update, but I'll put like a time uh, for you guys to let you know when that's gonna happen. Anyway guys, stay safe this holiday weekend. If you are out of quarantine or lockdown, try to stay socially distanced, try to wear your mask, um, and as always, have a good day. Bye.